Hi everyone, this is Skull, and today I have these two Pixel Mario Amiibo to open up and show off for you guys. So, the reason it took me so long to get these, I, I know they've been out since September the 11th, uh, which was, man, over half a month ago, almost a full month ago now. But, um, I have a very reasonable explanation for why it took so long. These are the Japanese versions. Uh, before they actually announced that these would even be released in the United States, or, or rather, exactly when, they had already announced the release date in Japan, so I decided to go ahead and import these along with the entirety of Smash Wave 5, uh, minus the Retro 3 pack, of course. And, well, now that um, they're finally here, I can, I, can, I, I can say that I don't know if it was worth it, because... Uh, this one, it was definitely not worth it. I overpaid, and it took forever to get here. I could have gotten it on release day for suggested retail price. Ended up paying about $20 for that one. This one may have totally been worth it, I just don't know. Because in America right now, you can only get this with a bundle that comes with the Wii U and Super Mario Maker, and that costs $300. There's no other way to get it except through secondhand sellers, and there it's going for way more than just $20 like I got it for. So for this one, it was worth it. For this one, it was not, so I don't know if it averages out to it being worth it or not. And in any case, um, I really don't care. As long as it's here, I don't collect them in box or anything, so I'm just going to go ahead and... Uh, take them out and then compare them and then also compare them to the other Mario Amiibo that have come out so far. So enough chit chat, let me go ahead and take these out of their boxes and show them off for you guys. And just as a reminder, this modern Pixel Mario design is only available in a $300 bundle. There's no other way to get it. And as far as we know, there never will be another way to get it. They've only now stopped um, doing exclusives for uh, things that were exclusive something like six months ago so if this is ever available for you just go to the store and pick up on the shelf then it probably won't be until 2016 earliest so if you want these the best way to do is import them um, so anyway let's go ahead and show these off they're about the size and uh, weight that I expected them to be honestly um, really they look best from this angle as you can see, as I turn it around, it's starting to look more and more weird, for lack of a better word. Um, it, it's, it looks like it's made of pixels. However, um, Mario in pixel form was never supposed to look like it was rotating like this. Um, these work exactly the same as any other Mario figures, except in the Super Mario Maker video game. And let me go ahead and get this one. In the Super Mario Maker video game, these unlock... Um, Mega Mushrooms, which allow Mario to walk through walls, for lack of a better way to put it. Actually, no, that's exactly what happens. So this is what the uh, modern Pixel Mario looks like. I've seen so few of these because so few people have imported them or um, gotten the Wii U bundle, so I'm very happy to own this. Oh, man. Uh, and with this, I now own every single Mario or I own every single Amiibo that has been released in the United States. Um, the next one that I'm picking up is Chibi Robo, which happens to be a week from today, actually. So anyway, I happen to have the other two Mario designs with me. Let me go ahead and move the camera down so that it's all level like that. Yeah, that looks better. And I happen to have the Smash Mario and the Super Mario Mario. <laughs> And, well, as you can see, the um, Pixel Marios are much larger, and I can tell you this, they are much heavier, but you could probably have guessed that. The bases, um, the bases are exactly the same size, so if you have a way of um, displaying your regular Amiibos, then you can use the exact same stands for these. Uh, as you can see, they're taller. Um, they're wider, but the bases are the same size, and otherwise that that is the look at what Mario's we have right now. Um, we also have Dr. Mario, which doesn't count, and the Gold and Silver Mario, which I, I, they look like this, so they're exactly the same. Anyway, so I hope you all enjoyed this video, and um, yeah, I, I'm very happy to finally own the Pixel Mario Amiibos. Uh, I should have Chibi Robo upcoming next week, and 
November has plenty of Amiibos coming out, so be on the lookout for that. Thanks everyone for watching, and stay tuned for more.